been a really long time. I have not been doing <coughs> my video vlogs. Hello, beautiful people. I'm Epiphany, and today is October 1st, 2011, and I have not done a video vlog, I think, in about three weeks. I'm guessing I got really busy. I got really caught up. Um, it's been the beginning of the school year. Um, my new teaching post took um, some getting used to, new hours, new schedule, new children, new co-workers, all kind of stuff. And um, that has taken a lot of my time. So I, I really have not had the opportunity to just sit down and do a blog, although I've done promos for my, my radio show. I haven't had the chance to do a blog, but um, where I'm at is my blog, and I apologize for my absence, but, you know, life happens, right? So, where I'm at on this day, first of all, I didn't even realize it was October 1st until I went to the bank this morning, and I was like, what's today's date? And I was like, whoa, October 1st. Um, this journey of mine is not over, and I anticipate that it really won't be over until I leave this plane. Now, when I say the journey, for those who don't know, I speak of um, getting healthy and losing weight and getting fit and returning to my former self, um, a self that I quite missed and hadn't seen in a really long time. She was lost, and now she's found, and um, I'm really happy about it. I'm just about um, at my goal weight. I've lost about 74.3 something like that pounds, and... I am a very, very strict vegan, and I'm gluten-free as well, and mostly sugar-free. I, I, You know, if I eat something that has sugar in it, it's not because I went and ate a piece of candy. It, it's usually some sort of hidden sugar or natural sugar. I don't add sugar to anything. I don't eat desserts and things like that, which is no big deal because I, I really don't have a sweet tooth. So um, people were like, oh, what do you eat? I eat a lot. We've been through this, beautiful people. I eat plenty of food. There's plenty of food on this planet that is not from an animal. So, um, and gluten, the, the, just for y'all, um, the gluten-free thing was born as I eliminated starch from my diet because I saw, um, and when I say diet, I mean what I put in my body because what I did was not a temporary thing. What I put in my body, um has purpose. Starch served no purpose. So I eliminated it. And um, when I try to go back to having maybe something with wheat in it, like cereal or something like that, I got itchy. So it became very apparent that I had a wheat sensitivity. And so I don't eat it. It's real simple. Um, it, it's not rocket science. I don't have some great amount of willpower things, superpowers. It's if it's, if, if it's not good for me, I don't eat it. If it doesn't serve a purpose, I don't put it in my body. Everything I put in my body is designed for a reason. Um, if I find that I'm missing something or lacking something that would make me healthier, I think my newest thing has been really just eating tons of kale. Just because I was getting tired of baby green. So um, kale is really rich in um, iron. And um, because I don't eat... Um, meat and um, I, I, I need that iron source I, I find that eating a lot of kale helps so um, it, it's been an interesting really beautiful journey in a lot of ways rediscovering myself and um, you know I, I, I'm very comfortable in my skin um, I think I've said this before sometimes I look and I don't realize it's me and um, I find uh, when I speak about my journey, for those who are not very familiar with me, um, they fear that uh, uh, perhaps I, I've gotten too thin and I'm doing something, you know, that's not healthy. Not true. Not true. I promise you. I'm super duper healthy. I'm super duper strong. <laughs> and um, I'm probably healthier than I've been in about 25 years. And um, 
I am pleased about that. So uh, artist-wise, with my journey, I've been writing a little bit here and there. Um, I took a break from performing until um, November 16th, which is my birthday performance at the Air Lounge, where I'm featured. So I decided to take a break until then and um, go and watch lots of other people and go see lots of bands. I saw F Deluxe last week and they were fabulous and they're going to be on my show soon. I'm really happy. I love St. Paul. I love him. I love him. I love him. So, um, and I love Jelly Bean. So, um, I've been soaking in a lot of other people's art and um, this weekend, no show for me. So I've decided to be very domestic and do my thing around the house and hit up a lot of yard sales and flea markets, which I love, 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 love to do. And uh, I've been in the kitchen whipping up a lot of the bath and body products that I'm designing for my bath line. Um, I think so far the working title is Body Alchemy, but I'm not sure. Um, I might change my mind because I'm wired that way. And um, thank you guys for, for the kind words, you know, and the support. I, I get a lot of very beautiful people that come into my life. And um, I feel very blessed about that as um, I feel very blessed to get rid of the shitty people that were in my life. Um, and, and, and the non-entity people. <laughs> You know, people who just really don't count. At the end of the day, really, yeah, there, yeah, I, I'll say it. There are some who don't matter, right? They don't. And there are some who greatly matter to me. And one of those people is my friend Ladessa. So I'm going to give a big, big shout out to Candy Acid Rain because she's very special. She's very special. So I am going to get in that kitchen because I got some lot butter to create today. And um, I got a date with a broom too. And uh, I am glad that I took a moment to spend with y'all. So that's where I'm at on this day. And I hope everybody's good. And I'm going to get to my day and do what I need to do. And y'all be well. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you at Epiphany's house next week. And I'll be better about the blogs. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. I'll be better. I'll be better. I'll be better. Time to go. See you guys later. Take care. Bye.